blue growth is, is clearly um, a, a sort of priority area for, for Europe, but at a national level as well. Okay, so EMOTNET that is, uh, stands for the European Marine Observation and Data Network. That is an uh, initiative uh, being set up by uh, DJ Mare of the European Commission. And the overall objective of uh, EMOTNET is to uh, make available and make accessible marine data which are available uh, throughout Europe in uh, different countries, uh, different organizations, both private and public organizations. But this data is available in different formats. It's difficult to access them, difficult to find them. So what Imotnet is actually doing is uh, trying to integrate these uh, different data sources and to make them available in a more coherent, uh, accessible way to the uh, end users. So, we have three objectives for EMOTNET. Uh, we want to increase productivity in the blue economy. We want to reduce uncertainty in the blue economy to increase, to reduce the risk. And we want to promote innovation. EMOTNET is not only a network that is linking up different uh, data systems and databases. But really, at the core, it's bringing together people. In 2015, we brought together the entire community to think a little bit on how we can strengthen the network and make it more useful to, to the user communities. And one of the ideas that already was um, suggested at that time was to organize some sort of uh, competition, even a hackathon, to try and bring in new people into this network. iMac and Imotnet have joined forces. Uh, we are not content experts, of course, but we work day by day to coach and to develop startups. And this is exactly how we approach this hackathon, this bootcamp or this competition. We see the participants and their teams as uh, startups that reuse the data of Imotnet and we really help them to get something useful out of it, eh? to, to help them get a business model to involve end users in the shaping of their ideas and of their demos. Open Sea Lab is structured uh, based on the three days. So the first day is matchmaking and ideation, eh, where we really stimulate the formation of teams around ideas. The second day is uh, based around the really shaping the ID and the possible demo that you can work upon, so that you really dig deeper, look for a problem statement and find some solution for that. And then the third day is about disseminating and communicating what you have been done. So the ideas are then presented to the jury and to the general audience to select uh, the winners. Uh, we decided to join this hackathon because uh, we're from Canada and it's a really great opportunity for us to become familiar with the uh, European ocean data community and also to do some networking and meet all the wonderful people who do this work. So I was really interested in working with um, more in a more multidisciplinary study with people dealing with the data and who is able to uh, organize and make the data something that is usable. I'm here because of the interest in marine data for data bio pilots in the fishery sector. We are a startup working with a lot of uh, marine data. Um, we are now working mostly in Belgium, but we want to expand to the rest of Europe. I came here because innovation doesn't happen behind your desk. You have to get out and meet new people and new ideas. We're interested in building a decision support framework to help apply EMODNET's uh, scientific data to the general public to help it be relevant to their everyday lives. The problem is that EMODNET has aggregated a great deal of interesting scientific data, but it's complicated and requires specialized knowledge to apply to end users. And um, in addition to applying it to those end users, we'd also like to help policymakers identify gaps in the data to help their end users achieve their goals. So we think our decision support framework will uh, facilitate that for both users. We are trying to predict where marine litter ends up in the ocean so we can prioritize areas to focus on to clean. Okay, so our idea is to create a decision support system for near future catch planning. So we will make a tool to uh, get a lot of different data that is useful when you want to plan, for example, for a wind park.
Uh, our team's idea is to create an app to help divers choose uh, certain sites to go diving based off uh, what's uh, what interesting things there are there to, to go and the conditions uh, any point to go uh, diving in that place. Our goal is to develop a tool to help tourists find uh, litter-free beaches and in doing so uh, raise awareness around ocean litter. We develop a tool for finding the most optimal locations for seaweed production. Um, we model its optimal growth conditions according to, what, uh, to the current state here. There's a lot of things spotted on the map that might be not so clear and not everything is on it. Big data sets, great variety. Genial. Challenging. Fun. Uh, it has been very good. Oh, it's excellent. Interessant. Inciting. Very constructive. Here today we have a hackathon. I think it's the first one from Imodnet and I think we need much more of these hackathons. And maybe even make notes of the hackathon. So in individual countries there will also be hackathons. So we have like one pan-European community tackling all these challenges with the new technology.